Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a Patreon request from G-Man Muller. Now the artist or band he's given me is Queensryche. It's a live in Tokyo version from 1984. I had no idea that these guys went back that far. But then again, I didn't know much about the band anyway. <laughs> the song is called Take Hold of the Flame. So, unless it's something to do with the Olympics, I'll have no idea what it's about. But I will try and get a meaning from this song anyway. Um, before we jump into this reaction, if you do actually like my videos, then please consider hitting like and subscribe. It supports me, it supports the channel, and I appreciate it very, very much. And don't forget to leave that little notification bell on so that you never miss an upload. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get straight into this. G-Man's band, well, not, it's not his actual band, the band that he's requested. Queen's Right, I think I'm saying that right, and uh, Take All the Flame. Okay, it's got a classic feel to it. Oh, that's a nice melody. That drum fill when it came that <laughs> smacked everything all in one go was cool as fuck. I didn't expect it one little bit because it was all dead mellow and just guitar. I want to see it again. Um, all guitar orientated and like subdued. The next thing, but 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 it's like like animal off the um, the Muppet Show with the smacking drums dead quick. It was cool as fuck. And his uh, his voice, how high does that go? Very high. <laughs> This guy has got a, a crazy, um, amazing, like, um, like oh, metal rock screaming voice. You know, it's very, very high pitched. Reminds me a little bit of the classic Iron Maiden that I've, I've checked out. Not, obviously, not exactly the same, but that sort of um, note holding in a high pitched. Uh, like with a high pitched voice sort of thing, it's really, really, really melodic and cool. And you know, when I first did that first Queen's Right song, which was like like part of an opera, um, 
I'd never in a million years thought that they did music like this because that was so very different to the other two songs that I checked out from these guys. So I thought they were like a um, like a rock opera type band, but they're not. They're a proper metal band, and it's cool as fuck. <laughs> Fucking go! Do you know what? I wonder if I wonder if Slash was actually influenced by these guys at some point because I don't know how long these guys have been going. But I could hear techniques within that guitar solo that I've heard Slash do later on. It's that type of you know the accents in the, in the guitar playing, um, like obviously within like like things like Sweet Child of Mine and stuff like that, which came a lot after this, like six or seven years after when Guns and Roses were still babies, <laughs> if you like. But um, yeah, I can I can definitely hear similarities and obviously these were here before Guns N' Roses so you know loving it that guitar solo was was cool as shit it was let's go Wow. Wow. Oh man, that was one big ball of energy. I really enjoyed that song, you know. And the more I'm checking out from like these older eras, like the early 80s and stuff, the more I'm liking the bands that are here because, like I said, I'd never heard of these guys before in my life. And then I didn't know how, how old they were, how, how long they've been going. But obviously, they, they date back to at least 1984. So, uh, but yeah, love it. I absolutely love that. Uh, classic metal is slowly becoming one of my favourite things to check out loving it thank you for the request g-man anyway if you like my videos then please hit like and subscribe if you want to support me on patreon or any of the social medias and the links are in the description thanks for watching i shall see you on the next one